Hey everyone, Ben Clark here again. I hope you're doing well and you're ready for video number three that I've got for you today. Now, if you haven't already checked out the first two videos, please do that because we'll be going over some stuff that we have done in those videos. And what we're going to be doing today is combining video one and video two, what we've learned and combine it into a new workout. Now for today's session, you are going to need the pole like we used last time, mine's down here ready to go. And also you're gonna need some sort of weights. If that's a drinks bottle filled with water, or if you have got access to a dumbbell, what if you've got, as long as it's slightly heavy, that's what matters. So get those ready. But before we get onto the main part of the set, let's get started with that warm up like we did before. Okay, so make sure you've got space, you're not gonna hit anything or anyone. And we're just gonna start swinging our arm forwards round in a big circle, brushing it past your ear and then past your leg or your wheels or your chair, whatever you're in, and going round in the circle. Welcome back guys, anyway. And as I said, I hope you're well and I hope you're doing good today. Let's get this warm up going and I'll explain a little bit more about what we're doing today. So as I said, we are combining what we learned in the first session, which is the cardio stuff, the interval training, and putting in a little bit of resistance training. So adding those bits together. And the reason for this is just to keep things interesting, keep things different, and show you different ways you can make a program. And that's exactly what we wanna do. We wanna have you be able to make your own programs going forwards. Let's take this same hand and go the opposite direction in a circle. Excellent work. So just getting these joints warmed up, making sure that we're feeling good in those areas. Excellent. Okay, let's change arms now. Take the other arm and go forward circles again. As always, like I said in the previous weeks, doing the best to your ability. And that goes for every single thing that we do in this session. If you can't mirror exactly how I'm doing, that is fine. We all have different levels of where we are on our fitness journey and we all have different levels of ability. And no matter where we are, we can do something. All right, let's go backwards with this, but just doing what you can do, okay? So if you don't have that, if you have a limited range of motion or you have uh, restrictions in other departments, whatever it might be, just doing what you can do. Okay, let's take this arm and go up, touching it over to the opposite shoulder, so just going like so and then over to this side, excellent. So again, if you can't get all the way over, so it's bringing the hand up over our head and then down to touch the opposite shoulder. If you can't get all the way over, if you can just get to the nearest shoulder, that's also fine. Or even if it's just getting here, just getting those elbow joints moving is kind of what we want here. So this warm up's all about getting joints activated, getting them moving, getting them ready for what we've got for them in store. Okay, excellent. Let's take one hand here, go straight arm up above your head and back down again. Straight, so straight arm in front of you, up above and then back down, getting that stretch through sort of in the armpit area here. Good. So the combination stuff we are doing today, we are gonna be switching back and forth. Now I will say if you have difficulties with switching back and forth or it you know, requires a lot of setup, I would recommend go it, changing the set slightly so you do all the ones you do with one piece of equipment first and then putting that down and then changing equipment. But let's talk about changing, let's change arms and do the other side, just like so. But we'll be switching back and forth, doing different exercises here. But I hope you're ready and I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. If you have, let me know in the comments. As always, I will be down there to answer any questions you have. So please feel free to ask me anything. I will keep checking back to make sure that your questions are answered. Here with the shoulders, we're just gonna do some rotations backwards. Just getting those there, like a shrugging up and then relaxing back down. But in a circular motion. Don't worry about whichever direction you go in because now we're gonna change that direction. So just gonna go. I was going backwards, now I'm going forwards, just changing it up a little bit. Excellent. Okay, as I said, let's give that a nice shake out. All right, if you grab your equipment or have it handy, have it ready to so make sure that you 
uh, have access to it and we will get started with the session. Okay, so for this session, it's quite simple and straightforward. What we do, we do a cardio uh, bit of a workout for one minute. Once we've done that one minute, we're gonna put the pole down to the side, grab our weight, and we're gonna do 10 reps on one arm and then 10 reps on the other arm. Then we're gonna repeat it, but we're gonna change the arm that we start with. So say we're doing a cardio for one minute, do 10 reps, 10 reps, then we're gonna do that cardio again, 10 reps, 10 reps, and then we're gonna have a rest there, and then we're gonna change the exercises that we'll be doing, okay? And we're gonna do a different one, and that is gonna be how this program is sorted out today. I've got my weight here in front of me, so you'll see me coming back and forth to the camera here, uh, but just bear with that as we're doing it. Um, I don't really have anywhere else to put it down, or oh, it's a turnaround, it's a little bit easier there. So make sure it's within reach for you wherever your weight is today. Okay, so we're gonna go in 20 seconds here. I've got a timer up and I'll have one on the screen as well for you so you can follow along too. One minute to start with is gonna be paddling and then the exercise we're gonna do first after that is the overhead press. So the paddling is imagining you're going down a river in a canoe or a kayak. In two, one, off we go. Excellent, so one arm goes around forwards in a circle and the other one is going at the opposite end of that circle. Paddling down, imagine you're going down a river, maybe some white water rapids or something, and you've got some nice trees, birds are chirping, and you're paddling down that river. Or maybe you're out on a nice open lake or something. Whatever it may be, let's get this paddling going. Excellent work. We're just coming up to halfway on the first minute here. Good stuff. Keep it going. Paddling, paddling, paddling. And like always, I like to show you guys how you can change and adapt these sessions and do it slightly differently to work for you. So lots of people like to do things uh, differently, keep it interesting, keep it exciting. And that's what I wanna show you. So different ways we can do that. And we'll go through that as we go through the session today. Anyway, three, two, one. Let's put the pole down, grab our weight. Oh and then come backwards excellent all right so the first one we're going to do here as i said 10 with the right arm overhead press so just having that weight pressing it above your head three four five six seven eight nine ten and do not worry if you're not keeping up with my pace, that's fine. Other arm now, off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Let's put that weight back now, grab our pole again. Don't worry too much about the time in between. Just getting this done. Excellent. Back to paddling, ready, off we go. Excellent, so just keeping those arms moving. And as I said, on the next set of 10 reps, we're gonna start with the arm we did second on the first time. Um, and there's a good reason behind that, is because both of these arms are working now, and then if we did the right arm first, that has no rest. Uh, and the other one has rest. So we just like to balance it out a little bit to make sure they're both getting the rest in there. Excellent work. Keep it going, 30 seconds to go. Excellent work. Excellent. And then once we've done this paddling, we're going into sets of 10. As I said, that we're gonna go left arm first and then right arm after that. And then we're gonna have a little bit of a rest and then we're gonna go again for a different couple of exercises. Keep it going, another seven seconds. And off we go for the overhead press. Excellent, so it's just having that weight. And then going overhead, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Changing arms here. 
Ready, off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent work. Let's put that weight down for a second and we will have a minute's rest here. Okay, so for the second set here, we're gonna do a different exercise with the pole here, and then moving on to a different exercise with the weight that we had there. So the exercise we're gonna do for the minute is gonna go pushing the hands out forwards, and then pushing the hands up above your head. So one minute like that. And then with the dumbbells, we're, we're gonna do 10 bicep curls on one side, and then 10 bicep curls on the other side. We're gonna go in 10 seconds. So be sure to get yourselves ready. Five, four, three, two, one, forwards and up, excellent. Good work everybody, let's keep this going. Excellent, that's 10 seconds down. We're going for this full minute here. This exercise is a little bit trickier than the first one I would say. So all the way up above your head as far as you can get and pushing it out as far forwards as you can get. So up, and forwards, boom, double arms here, excellent. That's halfway. So it's kind of like punching forwards, punching up. If you can't get all the way up above your head, you know, you can't stretch up, that's fine. If it's just even just this little area, or even if it's just off your lap, that's fine. Just doing the best you can. Get moving, you'll improve in time. As you get fitter and stronger, you'll be able to get better at this. Okay, five seconds, then we're going into those bicep curls. Three, two, one, resting that pole down, grabbing the weight, and let's get going. As always, do not worry if you don't have any actual dumbbells, that is fine. Just doing what, using what you've got around your house. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, straight into doing the poles again. Ready, forwards and up. So we'll say on the dumbbells, uh, try and get as good a range of motion as, I, as always. Uh, however, for me, my grip isn't too great, so I can't fully extend all the way down on those. Um, so that's just doing the best you can there, really. Keep it going. So yes, as I was saying uh, in the beginning, you can change this up and do lots of things. You can change the even more than what we've done before so you can change the exercises that we're doing so you can do different cardio parts of this so these ones you can change it all up and do different things uh, maybe taking some inspiration from the first video we did uh, you can change the exercise that we do with the weights so you can do maybe tricep extensions or whatever it might be that interests you feel free to change that up and then you can change things like timings talk about timings three Two, one, resting there with that one, going with your bicep curls. I'll explain a little bit more about what I was saying there after these, just so I'm counting with you, that's what we want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, changing arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Putting that down there. Now, where was I here with this talking? Uh, so yes, so you can change the exercises that we're doing. So you can do different cardio exercises, you can do different weights. Um, the amount of time you do the cardio bit for, you can do less or more. 
Um, the same with the reps of the weights. You can do more rep weights or you can do less rep weights. You can also change the amount of weight you're using. So there's, as you can see guys, what, there's lots of variables here. And once you start, there's almost infinite uh, possibilities with this kind of workout. You can really adapt it and change it to suit your needs. Uh, one thing I will say is if you wanted to do more within the session, like you wanted to go for longer, because um, that was only 10 minutes long. But if you want to do a 20 minute workout, you can double it up, you can do add two more exercises in, so two more cardio and two more weights. Uh, again, feel free to use some of the ones from the first and the second video or have a little search online. And you can really, really customize it towards yourself, which is fantastic. It's really important for when we have limited abilities to be able to explore what we can do and put those into a session, which I find for myself is really fun, really engaging, and hopefully you do too. The last thing I want to say is to make sure you always keep it within your ability range. As always, do not worry about mirroring exactly what I'm doing in these sessions. Do what you can do with your ability. That's all that matters. And then keep pushing yourself to do better and better each time you come in. Anyway, guys, that's it for today's session. I really hope you enjoyed that. It was a great one for me. Uh, for me personally, I think I would want to do more on top of that. But as this is just an introduction how to uh, do the exercises and make your own program, I think it's a fantastic place to get started. In the next video, we will be talking about a different way you can program. So that's just one way. I'm going to show you another way next week. So hopefully you can join back for this. And again, if you didn't watch the first two videos, go back and watch those two and you'll have a bit more understanding of what we did in today's session. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. And as always, let me know in the comments down below if you've got anything you want to talk to me about. Thank you, guys. Bye.